What's up guys, Justin here with the renderingessentials.com back with another Inkscape for SketchUp tutorial. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how to add grass to your Inkscape renderings within Inkscape. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I did kind of an introduction to Inkscape earlier this week, and I wanted to get a little more in depth on using this program. So the other thing I would like from you guys is leave a comment below and let me know. So um, on Thursdays, I already make a video for my other channel and I make a video on this channel as well. So I'm looking for some ideas ideas for some quick rendering tutorials. So stuff, some videos that I can make really quick that talk about different settings and uh, kind of shorter videos. And so I'd love to hear your guys' ideas for some things that you'd like to see in those videos. Um, now for what this is, this is just a very simple model within SketchUp. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're just going to run this in Inkscape. And so this is going to export everything to your Inkscape window, and we can kind of take a look at the render that's created. And do note that I haven't done anything with the textures on the house or anything like that. So that's something that I haven't changed, and this render would look a lot better if I had gone in and make the, made those changes. But for right now, I really wanted to make a video that focuses more on like the grass type settings. All right, and so this when this loads in Inkscape, you can see how I have kind of some tree proxy models in here, and I will or I will link to the tutorial that I did on that. But in this case, um, I just wanted to talk about how to add grass to this model because you can see right now what I have is I have kind of a ground covering um, texture applied to the ground, but it's not really rendering as grass, and that's really easy to fix within Inkscape. And so there's two settings that you want to look at when you do this. So the first that you want to look at is you want to look at making sure that within your settings if you go into the advanced tab making sure that the box for grass rendering is checked and so when the box for grass rendering is checked this means Inkscape is set up to actually render grass within your 3d rendering so and the other thing you need to do is you need to look at the name of your material and make sure it contains the word grass because what Inkscape does is it looks for keywords in order to um, set up your different textures and apply different ma um, material settings automatically. So if you look, if I go in here and I sample this, you can see that my grass material right now is in here as ground cover, dark green. And so what that means is if I flip back to this, Inkscape isn't rendering grass here because it doesn't contain the word grass. And so what we're gonna do in this case is we're just gonna go in and we're just gonna adjust the words ground cover to grass, dark green. And then I'm just going to hit the tab key to kind of tab out of that box. And now if I go back into my Inkscape rendering, you can see that what this did is this is actually going in and rendering 3D grass on your ground now. So it's reading, it's reading that texture name and seeing that that needs to be a grass material. And uh, it's actually rendering that in there. And one thing to notice when I uh, fly around is you'll notice that for a second out here in the background, the grass isn't quite rendered in that space. So it renders it kind of in the close space first. And then as time goes on, if you just let it sit here and render, it'll go in and fill in the rest of this where the grass is as well. So this is just a really quick, easy way to add grass. And it's actually really impressive how quickly grass can be added within Inkscape. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know what you think about the grass that's created, about Inkscape, about other rendering programs. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.